we will do everything humanly possible to ensure that the people of this country are not unjustifiably disenfranchised. And to be very honest with you, and that is why we told Jin Mensa that if there is chaos and anarchy as a result of either her incompetence or because she's an MPP activist. Which is not. Oh, she yeah, is. But she's not a member of, I said, of, of I the said, party. I so. said on your program, no, I said on Good Morning Ghana, that Jin Mensa was a family relation to the first lady. Kweku Baku sat on Good Morning Ghana but and she, said, please, please. I mean, on record, said, she's, she's not oh, a I'm coming, please. I said, member of the I said she was a family member of the first lady. Kweku Baku sat on Good Morning Ghana and said that was not true. And you people, because a section of the Ghanaian media is zombified, people believe and agreed with what he said, only for it to be proven in the court during the petition that she was indeed a family member of, of, of the First Lady. She's an activist of NPP. She's not only a member, an activist. Dr. Bosman Asari was my two years senior in Legon. I was in the psychology department. He was in the political science department. He was an MPP activist. When I came to the department to do my PhD, he was the head of the department. Now his and, and he was the test con. He was the test con patron. He's now the deputy commissioner. I'm saying commissioner. that he was the. He is now an the MPP deputy commissioner. No, for the EC. I mean I, he's an MPP activist. So when you have the electoral commission flooded with MPP activists, they think that they can do anything. What, what we are, what we want to assure them, 2020 is not 2024. And if anybody thinks that what they did in 2020 and got away with it, we are assuring them they will meet their meter. We will not allow anybody to be disenfranchised in this country. Look, let's go into the, to the elections freely and fairly. Don't disenfranchise anybody. Whoever wins, we come here and then we follow. But I've heard some of them start to say, oh, Nigeria, they have broken the aid and therefore break the... Ghana is not Nigeria. And this country is not owned by anybody. This country, our democracy is tried and tested. Oh, I and mean, clearly, I mean, if it is not 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 shameful, we are now going to we are now using using Nigeria democracy. And with all due respect to Nigeria, because ours is longer, ours is tested. Even Nigerians themselves will tell you that the system they have in place is not the best. Ours have been tried and tested. You now have MPs who are now saying that oh, Nigeria has broken the aid. We also break the aid. They are not interested in breaking the economy. They are interested in breaking the aid. They care less about the suffering of the people of this country. Okay. And that is 